Hi, I'm Dr. Lonnie Johnson. Two and a half years ago, we put together a video to introduce our company, JTEC, and explain how our technology works. The JTEC is a heat engine that converts heat directly into electricity with unprecedented efficiency. We'd like to let you know what we've been up to as we move forward in bringing the JTEC closer to production. It's been really busy and really exciting the last couple of years. Uh, touching on a couple of the highlights, the first thing we did is there's a core team of about eight engineers who were able to actually build a demonstration device. It took all of Lonnie's 20 years of theories and whiteboarding and uh, calculations and it proved that what he had been saying all along was manifest. We built a device, we placed it on a heat source, the hydrogen started flowing, the light bulb came on, power was being generated, and all of it was done on exactly the efficiency curves that Lonnie had always predicted. I came over with the idea for JTEC over 20 years ago, and it's been an uphill battle trying to get people to accept the idea that it really would work and, and what I was claiming was, was true. This would be an engine that would be more efficient than an existing engine and it would have no moving mechanical components. We were able to raise a Series A investment round and that's really allowed us to, to accelerate our development. Uh, we've gone from what was then eight employees to 33 employees now. We moved locations into our own space on the West Belt Line. Uh, where we've got our own lab, we've got a machine shop so we can make our own parts and not have to worry about outsourcing everything. Allows for quicker, more rapid development. So that's been very exciting. We've been able to recruit some of the best and the brightest minds in the energy space, people who are dedicated and realizing that we've got a big goal here that we're trying to achieve and that's been very gratifying. The applications that I'm excited about, these are just all over the place. The one big one is geothermal in my mind because geothermal heat is, uh, is like a perpetual heat source. There are a lot of abandoned oil wells in the country, uh, globally actually, and being able to access that heat, and it's low temperature heat. Uh, one of the things we're excited about the JTEC is the fact that it can convert low temperature heat into electrical power. So oil wells typically one to two miles deep, they'll have heat in the range of 100 to 150 degrees centigrade. There are not any technologies that can effectively could convert that low temperature heat into electrical power, but the JTEC can. So that's a very unique capability that we have. And so if you can rely on that as a renewable energy source, it's always there. You don't need batteries. You can draw power when you need it, and you can access power just about anywhere. Uh, we were told at one point just 20% of the abandoned oil wells in the country those oil wells where they've gotten all the oil out, they've capped the wells, wells and moved on. If you could access just 20% of the abandoned oil wells in the country, we could supply all the U.S. power needs just using the JTEC. One of the main challenges going forward is to try and reduce the cost of the JTEC. It scales up, we know that it scales up, but if you look at the cost curves of either solar or wind, it took about 20 years from the point where we are now with our technology to get the costs down to where it could be commercially viable. Uh, we're not gonna wait 20 years. We're gonna find partners, we're gonna find suppliers, we're gonna find investors that realize how important this is and are gonna join us to make this happen very quickly. So the challenge to us is how do we get that cost down quicker? And, and I think we've got some really innovative ways of doing that. And that's really a big focus going forward, scaling up into big projects while simultaneously bringing the cost down as quickly as we can. And a lot of that is gonna be uh, revolved around making the materials that we need for the JTEC specifically. Um, we've been using components and materials that are made for fuel cells. And while that's closely related, it's very suboptimal to the things we need those materials to do. My adage is, Right now, we're, we're building an airplane with car parts, and the airplane flies, but it's expensive, and it's not all that efficient. So when we can get suppliers on board, focusing on the types of materials we need, that'll dramatically cut the cost, and that'll really accelerate the commercialization of this product. So one of the big advantages of the JTEC is, all we need is a heat source. There's geothermal heat, and there's a monstrous amount of waste heat all over the planet. All we need is that heat source, and our engine starts being driven, the hydrogen circulates, everything comes into place, and we create electricity. 
The beauty of the JTEC is those heat sources are almost constant. Not the case with solar and wind where you've got an intermittency problem. So the JTEC with those heat sources should be a more cost-effective way of creating electricity eventually than either of those two. Another application would be data centers. It's projected that in a few years, data centers will consume about 20% of our annual electrical power output. A lot of waste heat generated in data centers, very, very large need to minimize the operating temperatures of microprocessors in those data centers so you don't wear them out, so to speak, or degrade their uh, performance over time. So keeping those data centers cool, right now that process consumes a lot of energy. JTEC will be able to um, really help mitigate that problem in a big way. I know that the problem that I'm working on matters for me, matters for my community, matters for my children. Um, it, I can't describe how important that is. Um, I love working in this kind of environment. The, we have a team of people who are brilliant, who are dedicated. I think what we're doing could make a real difference. Uh, it's not just the problem that matters, the solution is has incredible potential. And I'm really excited to be a part of that. The challenge going forward is making people realize how big this technology is gonna be. Um, it's not intermittent. We've got constant heat sources, both in terms of geothermal and in waste heat. So it's literally a new type of green renewable energy that can be bigger than solar, bigger than wind. Um, this is really the key to unlocking and solving the energy problems that we face as a planet. And we are going to work as hard as we can to find the best and the brightest employees, suppliers that understand what we're trying to do and can make the materials that we need, and the investors that believe that they can do things to change the world. Thank you.